A little while ago, I uncovered a conspiracy theory all on my own, completely by myself, and I may be the only person, well, until I made the video a couple months ago about the conspiracy theory that I had, I may have been the only person until I made that video that believed in that conspiracy theory, and my theory was that there was this video that Inside Edition did a long time ago about how a girl got, like, smashed and grabbed. She bit her like her window got broken in to her car while she was driving, like while she was parked at a red light, her car just got broken into, and she was freaking out, going in Sano mode, wacky style, you know, as one does, and she just drove through the red light. And so that's a pretty crazy story. So they were interviewing her on Inside Edition, and she kept talking about the entire time that she was listening to Beyonce's new album while this random person came up to her driver's side window and smashed her window and was doing something, I don't know, maybe he was trying to steal something, but it makes no sense, right? Like, why would somebody try to smash and grab while you're in the car driving? It makes absolutely no sense. But she talks about how she was listening to Beyonce's new album about 30,000 times in this two-minute video, and even the Inside Edition team themselves make up a point to know that, like, they wanted the audience to know that she was listening to Beyonce's new album. They were like, Next time you're listening to Beyonce's new album, be aware of your surroundings. It made absolutely no sense, and my conspiracy theory was that Beyonce's team actually paid Inside Edition to run that story, because even in that video, she she's she shows her purse, she puts her purse up to the camera, and she's like, oh yeah, also there's some glass still in here from when the robber broke my car window. There's some glass still in my purse. And she shows her purse, and obviously there's still glass in it, which makes no sense in and of itself, because in a 24-hour period, why would you still have glass in there? And her purse is completely empty, other than, I think, one thing of lipstick, and maybe a wallet, and glass pieces. And it's a big purse. There's no reason... Like, I'm sure everyone knows the kind of stuff that girls carry. There is no reason that a purse should only have one thing of lipstick, a wallet, and that's it. It makes no sense, right? So that's my conspiracy theory. But there is a new conspiracy theory on the block. And it's not one that I came up with, but it's actually one that I believe in now. And that is Kai Sinat faked his 4th of July stream. Now, I'm actually recording this video at 12 a.m., so it just hit 4th of July. Woo! Happy 4th, everyone! Um, so, I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Maybe by the time I upload this, it's already been confirmed that it's fake, and Kai posted some picture like, Yeah, guys, this was a fake stream. My set was fake. So, I'm basically going to play the clip that's going wacky right now. Oh, you do the same. I'm going to dump tight. I swear to God, bro. And honestly, I got to give it to him because that is really impressive to fake an entire 30, 40 minute stream. Like that is actually really good acting. And you may be wondering what's fake about this if you haven't seen the billion tweets about it on Twitter about all the reasons that it's fake. Uh, you may be wondering, how is this fake? Because this looks completely real to me. Well, the room isn't even the same room as his actual room. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of his actual room on the top and, you know, the room that he did the stream with. Oh yeah, Mr. Beast was there also, by the way. <laughs> so people are speculating that Mr. Beast made this fake room for the stream to, like, kind of hype it up. Maybe there's going to be some Mr. Beast epic 4th of July video with Kai in it. I have no idea if you know, this whole stream has anything to do with a Mr. Beast video, but everyone is saying that this room is fake, it's a set, it's not real, they didn't blow up the actual house, this is a fake set somewhere in the world, probably in North Carolina, because that's where uh, Mr. Beast is, and that's where he builds his sets, right? So, on the top is his actual room, on the bottom is the fake room, and as you can see with that circle, obviously the outline on the door 
in the the actual room the outline is a lot bigger than the outline in the in the fake room the room that he just did the stream with mr beast the outline on that door is a lot bigger also the door looks a lot tinier in his actual room than his fake room but the most damning piece of evidence by far and what actually is indisputable you cannot dispute this at all this is 1000 percent a completely different room is the top left corner you see that top left corner above the double doors on the far left side well in his actual room there's like a big line above the door and then just one long curve right but in the fake room the room that he just did the stream with mr beast there's one line at the top, not even in the same area, but one line on top of the double doors, then it curves a little bit, there's another line, and then a big curve. That is actually indisputable proof. Another thing that's indisputable is the columns on the right side of his little stream room. So in his actual room, the left side of the column, there is so much room there on the ceiling. But in his fake room, the left side of the column on the ceiling, there's like no room at all. And if you look at these two images side by side, there's probably so many things that you can notice are completely wrong. Some people are saying there's no outlets in the room at all and there are outlets in his actual room. I haven't done that much detective work, honestly. But this is honestly a masterclass in marketing. I really cannot believe the links that these guys went to to market Kai Sinat's 4th of July stream. Basically, if you're unaware, every 4th of July, Kai Sinat and his friends in AMP, which is a content creation group, I think it's Kai Sinat, Phantom, Duke Dennis, Agent, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't know anyone else in AMP. I think there's someone named Davis as well. But yeah, there's a bunch of guys in AMP and basically they all have this house together. They have a content house and every 4th of July they shoot off fireworks in each other's rooms. They like, they like try to, it's like a little joke where Kai will be streaming, just playing a game and someone will throw a firework in his room and it'll just blow up behind him. It's basically shit like that. They get these little rocket launchers that aren't real rocket launchers. They're like firework rocket launchers and they'll shoot it off at each other. It's pretty funny, goofy entertainment super dangerous obviously because if something goes wrong the entire house is just going to completely blow up but that's the crazy goofy situation that's going on right now that everyone's talking about what kai Sinat faked his room oh my god this is crazy mr beast made a fake set for his room yeah, I mean, that's the crazy buzz that's going on on Twitter right now. Anyway, I hope y'all have a good 4th of July, man. I'm going to have a good little 4th of July. We got a bunch of, you know, outdoor games to play. We got ladder ball and axe throwing and, God, what else do we have? Cornhole and something else and something else and something else. I think there's like six outdoor games that we have. And then we got a little table, and we're putting a little tablecloth on it. We got cookie cake and cupcakes and sugar cookies. And basically, my girlfriend and I are inviting my parents and her parents over, and we're just, you know, just gonna hang out, play some games, do some shit. And yeah, it'll be a good time. That's why I'm recording this video at midnight, because I'm probably not gonna be on my PC at all, actually, on the 4th. So yeah. Um, I just wanted to talk about this weird thing going on. Um, honestly crazy I, I actually do think that's really impressive i don't know if i could have a poker face like that and fake like my room and not make it obvious that it's fake like these guys did they didn't make it obvious it's just you know there were some few minor things between the fake room and the actual room that people noticed but nothing that was said between them indicated that it was a fake room at all. And I honestly do think that's really impressive. I don't know if I could do that because I would just think it's so funny. Uh, I don't know if I could be like calm and collected like that and composed. I would just make some goofy comment and then everyone would be like, oh, well, it's fake because he made this goofy comment. So, yeah. Anyway, just want to talk about this. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.